Pardon me? About faith. <laughs> All right. I'm not Logic arguing. Logic and faith don't mate, nor do they date. It's Mike, he's okay. just throwing anything I know, at you. I know, I know, I know. So, so Jesus' yeah. death on the cross was in vain? Jesus' death on the cross is still happening. Jesus is still dying in the death of every human being. Jesus... He's in heaven, brother. He's arisen. He's heaven. The kingdom That's of heaven is coming Let me us. ask you something. Another question. Eggs, and everybody's with the candles. Hey. And everybody's with the Jesus. But you know what? The bottom line is we're all brothers and sisters. We have to unite. There you there's go. nobody black no more. There's nobody Spanish. There's nobody Jewish. Nobody Italian. Nobody Irish. We're well, brothers. Me, we're let Americans let me, today. Let me get back here. I agree with everything you're saying. We're so. Americans today. <laughs> There you go. From now on. Uh, Americans? Oh, let me get back in here. No, we got to come out of that system. We are children of God. We are not to call ourselves by the name of any nation. But America represents freedom. Right. America represents the corruption of freedom. We are already free. What do you think? Everything in America is bad? No. Good and evil are coming to perfection here. Both the who good, does evil? Those who do evil, who are those who? Who does evil? Those who are in darkness. Those no, who no, no, no. Jesus gave us free will. Jesus right said, from wrong, good from free. evil. He was tempted Jesus himself for 40 days on the desert ah. from the devil, right? Okay. He chose to do good. All it's right. about choosing good or evil. Okay. And the people that did this to us chose evil. And we're all suffering. The scripture says that we're God, all family now. The scripture says that God uses evil to destroy the wicked from free will. The you're not you're not recognizing free will, my brother. Well, because I don't believe in free will. That's incorrect. The scripture says if Christ sets you free, then you are free indeed. If Christ has not set us free, free then we are still laboring under the bonds of delusion. We are still in darkness. Only when the Spirit of Christ liberates us, then can we make choices. So we, we must be laboring in the Spirit of Christ to make those choices. Other than that, we are operating under the karmic law, and the universe is making those choices if for us. If you had it your way today, what would you do? I want to, you got your 15 minutes of fame, and I'm going to shut up. What, what would, would you I be do? Doing? Yeah. I'd be sitting on the back porch with my grandchildren, eating ice cream and swimming in the swimming hole. That's be for I'm real. Thinking. I'm talking. That's for. That's my. That's where I wish to be. But because I feel compelled by the Spirit of God and my love for you, I'm here. The reason you are here, whether you know it or not, is because of your love for me, your love for all of these people, and it's this love that is joining us together, and it's the love that is getting through these antagonisms, and that in the end, when the moment is important, you and I will be of one, because it's love that breaks down the barriers between individuals, the differences that they have. And once we fall into that state of divine love, we become one. You already said it. Everybody here agrees with it. We don't, absolutely, no one here disagrees with what you said. But love is a very powerful thing. Love transcends the darkness. It overcomes evil. It overcomes violence. It overcomes oppression and justice. It overcomes America. Our love is greater than the doctrines and the ways of the American way of mind, state of mind. So we what do you think we should do with the Palestinians? Nothing. Nothing. The, Nothing at all. The land, the Palestinians, the land of the Palestinians must be returned to the Palestinians. That's why, <clears throat> that's why every time there is a demonstration against or for the nation of Israel, there is a group in our time, right here, of very orthodox Hasidic Jews who show up at these demonstrations and they are enemies of the state of Israel. And they are hated by all other Jews. And this, what do you think of them? Well, I think that they are being truthful to the Torah. This is what they say. Okay. They say, Jews lived in peace with the Palestinians until Zionists intruded, usurped their land, destroyed hundreds of villages, killed and terrorized them, and then demonized and blamed them. Just as the American drove the indigenous people off their land, the Zionist state drove the Palestinians off of their land. And he says, these Jews say, we deplore photos of Zionists dressed as religious Jews, carrying machine guns. This gives a false picture of a Jew. Even if a Zionist advocates religious observance, he is an atheist. Even if they ab advocate religious observance, they are atheists. They are not believers in Christ. 
And the scripture says, the world must know that being a Jew means being faithful and faithful and devoted to the Torah. But did God say that the Jews was God's chosen people? Exactly. And who is a Jew? Everyone who follows in the ways of the Torah the is a true Jew. Jew. It says here, of course. According to the Torah, all Palestine must But you misinterpret what he said. Uh, it's a metaphor. When uh, someone a, says Jews are chosen, they're not talking about a race or a nationality. They're talking about anyone. It's a state of mind. You are a Jew. I am a Jew because we believe in something greater than ourselves. Anyone who believes in God metaphorically is a Jew. That's and, and Even and you're taught, and I went to what Catholic man, school. Really? I was taught yeah. that in Catholic school, that Jews are the chosen children That's of God. I am chosen I because I believe in God. Anyone who believes, whether it's Allah, God, God, whatever it is, Buddha. Who hurt me? I don't have a religion. I don't have a religion. So it's a religion is evil. Someone hurt you. No, I, God sent the, my love into no, my life. Someone God hurt saved you. me from that. <laughs> you know, laughing. I'm saying I was going I to be a priest until you. God sent me. You were my going love. to be a priest of the Catholic Church. Yes. And what told you to stay away? God sent my love of my life into my life. He sent this little red-headed beauty into my life and saved me from that. Red-headed beauty yes. saved you from the Catholic Church. <laughs> my <freak>. soulmate. <laughs> yes, indeed. And together we made love and had lots of children and lots of grandchildren. She <laughs> saved me from getting caught and rigid and entangled in that hierarchical order that hates women. And, and who is the only first more. Christian religion? Uh, you're going to lie. Adam. <laughs> you're <laughs> lying. <laughs> According How to is he tell lying if he hasn't told who you Who is yet? the first Christian religion? The first no, Christian? No, yeah. Who uh, are they? What religion? I don't know why I'm oh, you're, you're lying. Yeah. But the scripture you're going says, to lie now. The scripture says, you're going to lie to me. The Tell everybody who's the first Christian religion. Okay. The scripture. You, you don't want to say it was Catholicism. The rich to keep the poor from killing the rich. All right. It gave them a consciousness. All right. Keeps people, that's why in America you have so much people. You don't want to tell because the truth. We're so ingrained in Christianity. Poor guy. We're afraid to go to hell. We and have it's, so it's much practical. peace. It brought uh, the world to a What peace are you talking about? I was brought I was brought here on chains. My mother, when she tried to teach me her native tongue, her tongue was cut off her mouth. When I had to go up to the big house after picking cotton, what peace are you talking about? We're talking no, about religion, not about nationality. Is not, it's not about nationality, about but if you no, believe you're talking in about God, nationality but now. Is, no, but anyone you're who believes, my hand. You're I'm getting saying annoyed. you're pointing. No, because you're getting annoyed. You no, listen to me. If you truly believe in God, how could I possibly want what to What does nationality you? have to do with blowing because up buildings? What does that think think about? No, you're <laughs> thinking. You're talking about. No, it's beyond. You're you're talking about me now. <laughs> You're talking about me. You're talking about black. You know about. We don't. Ha I'm we, Catholic. We don't I'm Italian. It. We, we were fed to lions for thousands of years. So don't tell me about <laughs> your life. We all suffered. Jews, this Italians, is, black, Germans, is, Jews. Besides race and everybody, everybody suffered. Everybody suffered, but the, suffered. You're too much with the so, black and no, the chains. No, 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 that no, shit's no. gotta stop. No, no, no. You're missing my whole point. My no, point. No, you're talking about religion. You're talking speak. about. You're missing my whole point. Don't offend besides, these people. Besides. Don't me. talk to me. Besides You're black, this is what I'm saying to you. This is what I'm saying to you. Because I love God, I could never wish harm upon you. Because my love is grounded in the faith of God. I would never want to see you harm. I would risk my life for you and I don't know you. If someone came to push you right now, I would protect you. Why? Because you are a child of God. When you love God, you don't want to see your brother or your sister harm. And religion has nothing to do with well, but why are you talking about chains and shackles? Because I'm trying. Why does that always come up with the black people? We all suffer. Every one of us. This is true. This is That's true. That's right. So this say it's true. true. It, it is true. Well, is all true. of us have it suffered. Jews, blacks, Italians, true. Spanish, Greeks. We all have you suffered. Never let, when we came to America. But if you would have let me we, finish my he, thought, I would no, have gone. I don't want to hear the no, chains no, 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 now. No, 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 no. It's not about that no more. No, no, no. It is about that. It ain't about that no more. It is about that. It starts with the Jews in Egypt. It starts with the Jews in Egypt. It's about everyone's experience. You're blaming. You're putting the blame. It's not blame. It's, I'm talking, no, you're talking about, about the You're talking about your evil, experience with, with chains now. 
The Jews were in chains. That the Jews has nothing to do chains. with you. The Chinese were in chains. That has nothing to do with you. Women are in chains. Women now? Women, women yes, are in chains. Women are in chains. Is every woman here in chains? Yeah. No, but in the Is Arab any world woman they here are. free? Raise in your the hand. Arab world they are. There's women free here. Come on. Wait a second. But see, you're only thinking about your. You're thinking about your little private space. Think My about private the space. World. I'm not talking about me. You're talking about you okay. and right. your black okay. history. Okay. That has nothing to do with World War. That has nothing to do with okay. the World Trade Center. Okay. It's a blacks have it's suffered. It's Everybody it's knows it's that. Okay. Everybody knows okay. that blacks see, in this city you. are the last to make it. Who knows that? We all know that. But, but do we have power over that? We're not executives. We're working class people. Don't want me in your situation. Does anybody realize the food we eat is what turns becomes our flesh? And any religion that would bring us up to a higher level by teaching us how to eat would truly be our, our guidance. But Christianity teaches us how to eat bread and wine, two foods that are not healthy. They're very addictive. No, 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 no. That's not they are. That bread is, is one of the worst foods you could eat. It does not bring health. Well, that, that's a great that, concept. That's because, that's because this religion, this religion is evolving. This religion is evolving. Bread and wine was the, um, uh, the God's way of nourishing the poor, not only in their body, but in their spirit. As we come to completion, as we come to maturity in Christ, as we come to understand the teachings of Vedic thought, Eastern thought, easy, we easy, emerge. Easy. We emerge. Smart, man. Smart. Smart. <laughs> we emerge out of our old ways and but we begin it, to adopt keep it away from Pure the foods keep it is away a new from teaching. And we are the moving Italians in that came direction. Got the shit but, knocked out of us by our people. Teach everybody to realize the shit knocked out of us. Because if religion was yeah, the word of God, we it's, a, it's not about it's not about, it's about nationality like that. anymore. Yeah, it's you over. You gotta go back and start all over again. When it's not something wrong, you're never gonna get it right. And that's and that's what we do. Religion is right. separate. You have to you happen to be right. Religion and nationality separate people, and we are no we not, we never were Americans. That's the thing. Today, from now on, we have to be Americans, and we have to say, "I love you. I love you." you that's not an American. You believe in this? You believe in this? That's not an American. That's gotta be. That has nothing to do with America. You, you know, have to be American. The greatest American. demonstration that religion is evil. You have to is, be human. Islam. Islam is a great example of how religion is dangerous. They take it to a, to an extreme. Religion, they, they, Islam in the East, is a mirror image of Christianity in the West. Christianity so. in the West is just as lethal in the name of Christ. That's why Jews have hated Christianity. Does anybody here think that Christianity is the best religion in the world? Or nearly the best? Or Judaism? No. Absolutely not. That's why we're here. That's why we are number one. Who's number Who? one? We. No. We are the highest civilization in the world. We? And they're Everyone. trying to take it away from us. You walk around the park and everybody here is crying for love and peace and not to, not to uh, put revenge. But back. everybody makes this different is, amount of salaries. You got Barry Bonds and San Francisco away from that's us. making 200 but million. God forbid, and you got somebody exist. who works and makes 60,000 a year. The monies are not equal. The, the religions are aren't equal. The nationalities aren't equal. We have to define what religion is. First, define what religion is. <laughs> religion is based upon principles. There are four principles of religion. Truthfulness, mercy, cleanliness, and austerity. There is no question of you being belonging to a religion if you don't practice these principles. So therefore, anyone who is not merciful either just to your fellow human beings and also to every other living being on the planet is not religious, it's, it's hypocrisy. It's so everyone who is involved in any kind of cruelty towards anyone is a hypocrite. Even if you call yourself, whatever you Christian call yourself, anything, Christian, right. Hindu, Muslim, or anything like that. Now our hypocrisy, hypocrisy in this part of the world is based upon the fact that we are really merciless towards other animals. We're trying to extend their love, but unless we actually give up slaughtering animals in our slaughterhouses in this country, we'll never realize what it means to be 
religion. You never get the result of religion, which is love of God. Religion means to know God and to love God. It's not based upon you calling yourself anything else. You gotta practice some mercy. We have to give up killing. It's not necessarily giving up meat eating, it's giving up killing But animals. what about drugs? Drugs are on every corner. Everybody knows the drug deal in the neighborhood. On this corner, that corner, and everybody's everybody doing drugs. And everybody's getting high. That's a symptom. Let me but let me explain, how do we stop that? Never mind it's very that. simple. You are a spirit soul. We have to give up the bodily concept of life. I'm American, I'm English, I'm Australian, I'm... I'm Arabic, anything like that, that's a misidentification. Our real identity is spirit soul. I am spirit soul. Aham Brahmasmi means I am spirit soul in Sanskrit. So stop identifying yourselves falsely. And we know there's a soul. The symptom of soul, you have to know what a soul is. You have to know that a soul is consciousness. It's in the body. It's in the body of a plant. We have to we have to have knowledge. Suffering comes from this ignorance. What? I've never heard more garbage than there must be some sort of philosophy that would guide any living human being that there is a greater being than all of us. And that is what religion would teach us. I think that's what he's saying. It's but not about slaughtering people, animals and, and soul in plants. How many people what? in your own family have hurt you? Does anybody have a problem with their mother or their father or their sister or their brother? People can't get along within amongst their families. Then you got religion. Then you got nationality. Then you got city. Yeah, then you got right. state. Come on! Satan was a part of God's family. Nobody's getting along. Everything is a secret. Everything is a politics. Everything is an ATM machine. Where is the giant ATM machine where everybody can go to it and say, look, I'm going to live within my means. I'm not going to have a house that's $2 million while this guy is in the street. When is everybody going to come together and say, I'm going to have the same thing as everybody else because I'm not better than anybody else. And whenever we get to that point, I'm then not we, better than anybody then else. We to think about Amagidian. We're gonna have We're ready to blow up. up we're ready to blow up start. Afghanistan. Why do you give up everything you have and give it to somebody. Huh? Oh, oh, fair enough. Start. So you start. Come over my I told head you head. how we start. We have start. one ATM machine, <laughs> and everybody <laughs> goes to that money machine, and what they need, they need food. They get food. They need clothing. But nobody should be greedy. Then and if, any, if the people stamp. start seeing well, greedy that's, people, that's, that's, that's when you stop. The, the mark of the beast. And then you know what would come? That's the just end. symbols. That's just yeah. symbols. Let's just get people to some kind of. No, you see, you see, but but you are a skeptic to brother. a fault. No, I'm skeptic, a realist. Healthy I see skepticism. Surely. Yes, but the scripture Extremely says surely. the scripture says that only a fool says there is no God. Only a fool believes that. that ethic is the highest principle. The highest principle transcends ethic, and it moves into the higher hidden dimensions in which the soul is formed. And it's when the soul manifests itself in the flesh that the principles that this brother here are talking about must become manifest. They come from above. They don't come from ourselves. But because the divine lives within, we sense that they are coming from within. But the divine who is greater than every any one of us lives collectively in every one of us, the divine principle. And those divine principles are based in the precepts that the brother was talking about, compassion, love, purity, cleanliness, truthfulness. And so even if you come by way of these things without claiming to be a religious person, you are nevertheless a true religious person. If you can have these things as the, uh, uh, the makeup of your soul. If you present yourself in the terms of these principles, I don't care if you define yourself by any particular religious tradition, I notice and I know you by your fruit and I see the divine in you, whether you admit to it or not. So the scripture says, know every tree by its fruits. What is the, divine? The divine is the presence of God within us. Some of us are not awoke to it, some of us don't seem to think we need to be awake to it, but still exhibit those 
those principles within ourselves, and some are absolutely oblivious and asleep so to the, the realization. the presence of God in us would tell us not to slaughter animals and not, not to kill plants. This, the scripture, this brother is saying, those he's not saying that, for us. Yeah, what he's saying is that as we come to the great day of the Sabbath, as we begin to realize that God is releasing us from bondage, as we attain to a higher state of consciousness, we might, if we are moving into planetary consciousness, one with the universal presence of life, we may begin to develop an empathy for all living things. And they may find out... this empathy will start when we can eat, stop eating before we are firing. We haven't done that in ages, and nobody here, Sure, has even tried to attempt that thing. But our greatest greed is in our stomach. It trickles into all these other things: greater apartment, bigger house. Yes. We can start by yes. less, walking away and sharing. Amen. That is true religion. That is true. Well, accepted. And I love my my tummy, and I'm gonna eat. Come on, man. But I I wish you would complete your thought. But I wish you would complete the train of thought you were. I think he was talking about why suffering or something like that. No, I mean the train of thought that you were expressing. I, it would be good if you would complete that. Uh, he was talking about, well, white people suffer and stuff like that, but you mentioned karma. It's very difficult to understand karma. It's a very, very difficult thing to like, it's easily misinterpreted. Uh, but the fact is that the, there, are, there are two worlds in a sense. There's the reality and illusion, but it's not a surprise to me because this world is described as a place of suffering and it's not a place to make yourself happy it's not a place to come and be peaceful be honest it's you're not going to actually find peace in a, in a very in a very very the nature of this place is birth death old age do you get up every day and go to work do you get up every morning and go to work most people here get up every morning and go to work but some people here make sixteen thousand and some people here make four million a year. There's divisions with money. Because you have a God-given talent to hit a ball over the fence at Yankee Stadium entitles you to a lot of money. It shouldn't be like that. Everybody should make the same amount of money and everybody should be the same. And that's it. No, no, you're preaching communism. No, what I'm saying, 